live? All right, we live. Yo, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Cash, and today it's a good day. We're over here in the River Oaks District of Houston, Texas. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of fashion, a lot of fresh and fast cars, a lot of classic luxury items. But the biggest thing that I wanna to talk to you all today is the importance of always presenting yourself in the best manner possible. Um, it's not so much about how you carry yourself, more so the confidence that you instill when you put that outfit on. And so that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. You're gonna to see a lot of cool B-roll clips, a lot of footage here of just us engaging with the atmosphere and the environment here in the River Oaks District. And you know, when you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you just exude that type of confidence. And that's the point that I wanna get across to you all today. So I appreciate you for checking in for this week's video and uh, like and subscribe and let's get to it. So for those of you who don't know, at one point in my life, I actually went to school for fashion. So if you're trying to figure out why we're talking about aesthetics and the way you present yourself, this is a part of my character and growth from a young adult to where I am now. And it's always been a passion of mine. My grandmother had her own fashion store. I went to the Art Institute of Houston and that's where I managed to I believe it was about maybe a year, year and a half of where I had my studies in fashion. And just off and on, I've always felt like I've been close to that field of work. So it wasn't so much about making it a career, but also just staying close and understanding like silhouettes and aesthetics that help you exude the confidence and embody like that image that you're trying to put out into the atmosphere that you're a part of. So let's get into it, man. I'm really glad y'all here for this video. We finna rock out, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get fresh one time. So that's literally what I've been saying this whole time. Like, it's not really about what you put on, it's just about the confidence that you exude when you put it on. PTSO, if you know, you know. More than anything, like, people respect you differently. They see, like, you're a person of details. To put certain aesthetics and silhouettes together, everyone can notice and tell that it takes a certain amount of care and detail, and the details is what separates us for those who are like distinguished and just really in the lead by example more than anything. So that's food for thought. I'm dropping gems on y'all today. Hold on to this, share this with somebody. When you go out the next day, today or tomorrow, be intentional about what you're going to wear. Make sure it's not wrinkled. Make sure that you have concern and care about the way you present yourself. Okay, so here's my realization. Everyone in the world, especially now, in the age of social media has a strong opinion. And some people project their opinions onto others without thinking and really not taking in consideration of how that impacts others. So for me, myself personally, and what I would like to share with you is that it's time to block out the noise. I want you to find your foundation in who you are and never let anyone move you off your center point. And you have to know yourself more so than the opinions and critics of other people. So therefore you never swayed from your emotions and your confidence remains true and stays the same. You have two options here. And to me, I only have one for myself, but it's up to you to decide what you choose. You can either listen to the noise and accept it, or you can listen to it and reject it. For me, I choose the latter. I reject it because I stand true to who I am and knowing my own identity from my personal beliefs and core values and I stand on that, as we say, standing on business. <laughs> Big time, and you already know what I'm talking about. So look, lock in, block out the noise. Don't let people's opinions like affect your mood, your daily actions. You've probably been working on your affirmations, so as soon as someone says something that's in opposition of your beliefs, it just shuts you down. And it's like, yo, you gotta, you gotta rise up and stick your chest out and defend what you believe. So at the end of the day, do like me, block out the noise. <laughs> 